but I've talked about this before. You know, the dogs who are racing around, barking, chasing their own tails, jumping up on the couch, barking it through the window at anything that moves, chewing balls constantly in an obsessed fashion, you know, following you everywhere, panting even though it's not hot. They're not relaxed dogs. The relaxed dog is the one who just lies down, mouth closed, no panting, doesn't have to follow you. They're switched off. Hey there, Doggy Dan here with another edition of Pup Dates. And today it seems very fitting that I just sit down here and stay in one place. Because what I'm sharing with you today is how dogs love downtime. They love switching off, they love relaxing. And I wanna share with you something that, yeah, I've gotta frame this the right way or you'll, it, it can be mis misunderstood about what I, how I, how I train, how I work with, what I do with my own dogs. Because if I was to tell you that my dogs love being in my car so much so that quite often the other day in the morning they woke up and they actually before their dinner before their breakfast i should say they wanted to jump in the car they literally wanted to jump in the car in the back of the car because the back of the car for them is like their den it's a really beautiful place they just switch off and so i put them in the back of the car and they'll often be there for like they can stay up there for three or four hours now don't get me wrong my car is a ute, so it's a big kind of station wagon with a big plastic shell, which is white, so it never gets hot. Even in the summer, in the sun, it's still one of the coolest places you can find. The windows are open with a big grate on the back, so the wind blows through. It's, it's pretty much like a big dog kennel. It's white plastic, and I park it under the trees, so it's always about the coolest place. Never gets hot. In the winter, I put big blankets in there, so it becomes like a really warm den. So I think what it is for the dogs is they feel safe, they're warm enough or they're cool enough. And it's like a den. It takes them back to that feeling of being in a den and they switch off and relax and they love it. And that's what I want to chat to you and share with you today. Is your dog getting enough downtime? So in today's episode of Pup Dates, I want to ask the question, is your dog getting enough downtime? Because a lot of dogs are mis they're misunderstood. People don't realize how much their dogs love to switch off. It's like you know, I've been recently training myself to have an afternoon nap. I know it sounds a bit weird. You're thinking, you're not old enough for that. <laughs> That's the thing old people do. Yeah, but I'm realizing I love it. If I can train my body to enjoy it and mentally let myself drop into a 15 minutes nap, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, dogs will enjoy more than 15 minutes, but but that's what we want to have a look at today. So I've talked about this before. You know, the dogs who are racing around, barking, chasing their own tails, jumping up on the couch, barking it through the window at anything that moves, chewing balls constantly in an obsessed fashion, you know, following you everywhere, panting even though it's not hot. They're not relaxed dogs. The relaxed dog is the one who just lies down, mouth closed, no panting, doesn't have to follow you. They're switched off. And of course there's training and that will help with helping your dog switch off and relax. And it's all about that relationship that you have with them. However, there's also sometimes, sometimes it's a case of setting your dog up to win. It's a bit like I actually have to force myself to go and have this kind of 15 minute nana nap, I call it. You know, sometimes I have to put myself in that place of leaving my phone in another room, switching off, lying down, and then I will actually relax. And you have to do that with your dogs sometimes. It's good to encourage your dogs to learn how to switch off. Now, of course, if you've got a dog with severe separation anxiety, that's, that's something else. You really need to get some proper behavioral training. However, you know, learning to leave your dog at home alone is not a bad thing. You know, and dogs will, they'll relax for hours and hours. They don't want to be rushing around 16 hours a day like humans. It's not good for them. It's not good for us. So recognize that creating a space, whether it's using a crate or whether it's a separate room, or you put them outside sometimes and they learn to calm down outside in the garden. They've got their own doggy bed, which is undercover and it's nice and warm or, you know, it's cool. It's good to get them to separate from you. That's a healthy relationship as a one way you can leave your dog. It's the same as with a human, to be honest, you know, being able to separate from another human and go and do your thing for a couple of hours or a couple of days. And then you come back together that you don't feel incomplete and nervous and stressed because you haven't got your dog or your partner right by your side. That's not healthy. So I just want to encourage you to recognize the importance of setting up these spaces, these times, these places for your dog to switch off. And I'm not talking about five or 10 minutes. I'm talking about an hour or two or three or four or five. And of course, you always need to make sure they've got water. They're not going to overheat. They're not going to get cold, that they, um, they've got enough oxygen and air, that they're totally safe. 
But yeah, once you set that up, it's a really healthy thing. So create those spaces for your dogs. Let them switch off. That's the main message I wanted to share with you today. It's another episode of Doggy Dance Pup Dates. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay. Good boy. Mosey. Good boy. Hey boys. Good boys. You're a king, Mama. You're a king. You're king of the castle. Stay there. Yeah. Jackie, sit. Stay. 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 Good boys. So these are my two boys. Jack's at the front, he's a Catahoula cross. Moses is at the back. He's a Border Collie cross Huntway. And Jack's about 10 years old. Moses is about 11. Alrighty, come on. Okay. So here I am walking my dogs. And even as I talk about this, you can see one of my dogs, there's Jack. He's just lying there, just relaxed. So this is where the, the beautiful park, where the creek kind of comes out and meets the ocean. It's absolutely beautiful here, beautiful and still. So I wanted to just sit here and relax. As we talk about relaxing and switching off and helping your dogs to switch off.